all. Yes, my right to be let alone. Yeah, unwarranted publicity. <laughs> the right of an individual to withhold himself and his property from public scrutiny if he chooses. Yes, <laughs> that means I have the right as an individual for you as law enforcement to never put my arrest <laughs> or my criminal record online without my consent that another corporation can earn any sort of profit from it. Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of these where you can do the background check on an individual. Yes. Not without my consent. You don't have the right to earn your income from my personal information. Mm -hmm. Now, you want to see me in court? Well, you will. Oh, interfere if there's no remedy at law to prevent an injury threatened by the invasion of or infringement upon this right from motive of curiosity, gain, or malice. Mm -hmm. Now, I could say some people are curious as corporations. Yes. The individual gain that you get from my notoriety. Yes. You know, uh, this malice that law enforcement has that's been enriching other corporations at my expense. Ouch. Now, you're, no, you are actually getting sued. Now, the Olmstead versus U.S., the right to be let alone, the most comprehensive of rights and that right most valued by civilized men. <clears throat> to protect that right, every unjustifiable intrusion by the, oh, scrutiny if he so chooses, you know, oh, by the, oh, wait a sec, oh, look at all these, oh, uh, there's a lot of them by the, oh, oh, wait a second here, by the government upon the privacy of where, whatever the means may be deemed a violation of the Fourth Amendment. And, oh, look at all these lawsuits. <laughs> they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know why I use the number ten? No. A number ten is somewhat of a complete lawsuit. It's like one of these huge freaking hundred billion dollar lawsuits where every sheriff gets named for their refusal to enforce the requirements of law to be issued a court order. Yes. Now, the violating it of it? Yes. That would have had to happen in your jurisdiction. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. But the obligation of the enforcement of laws to issue it? Yes. That happened in the jurisdiction of the United States of America. Ah! That's why you're all individually liable. Ooch, ooch, ooch. <laughs> I know that upsets you, but guess what? You're getting sued. Now, the Runyon versus State, when a person being without fault is in a place where he has a right to be, is violently assaulted by those that advertise on Facebook, YouTube, or any of the emails. <laughs> he may, without retreating, repel by force, and if in reasonable exercise of his right of self defense is assailed, man is killed, it is justified. <laughs> now, this idea of me just killing you, yes, because of your refusal to enforce the laws, <laughs> doesn't work that way, does it? <laughs> I can't go into the police department with guns blazing, deciding to take you all out myself because of your refusal to enforce my civil rights. I just can't do it. <laughs> what I can do is sue you into oblivion, find you guilty of treason, and have you put to death for capital punishment. <laughs> now, there are certain ways, okay, that certain laws can be enforced to cause an individual to be put to death. <laughs> now, this right to defend myself and my right to be let alone is so important, isn't it? Right now. You're going to be tried for treason, and I'm going to sue every corporation, yes, that through gain, malice, or other reasons, yes, decided to enrich themselves at my rights being violated. <laughs> now, maybe, okay, you have Marilyn stop by and pick you up at the library, yes, mm -hmm. maybe, ooh, you'd remove your fraud so I could get to suing, yes, maybe, okay, maybe, <laughs> you'd realize that you're enriching in numerous numbers of corporations because you're told, fuck up, fuck up.